When you're developing a project, mid-journey isn't just about getting cool images. It's about iterating toward a final vision. Today, I'll show you three ways to refine your results using a style image. Patterns for structure, textures for depth, and themes for consistency. This approach gives you more creative control whether exploring concepts or fine-tuning client work. Before jumping into mid-journey, let's step back and think like designers. When working on a project, especially for a brand, you don't just generate random images and hope for the best. You start with a clear concept and know where you want to take it. Begin with the end in mind. That's what we're doing today, as we're going to create some t-shirt art ideas for an outdoor brand that uses a bear as a concept. This isn't just about making any old bear. It's about creating a bear that feels right for the brand. This means we need to consider how the bear is represented. Do we want a realistic bear? A stylized graphic one? Something more art-driven? What does the bear communicate? Strength, adventure, conservation? How does it fit the brand's identity? Minimalist, vintage, rugged, or artistic? Since this is for an outdoor brand, our bear should feel wild, natural, and timeless, which speaks to hikers, campers, and conservationists. These are the core customers for the outdoor brand and those that would buy a shirt. So let's create some bears. We've got a prompt already set up, which is grizzly bear, majestic, sunlight highlighting fur, high contrast, detailed, iconic, isolated, a vignette, flat white background, and then some parameters, which is our variety set at 10. We've got quality set at two. And we're going to do four different SREF codes just for that art aesthetic. And we're only running our stylized, which is the level of creativity, at 150. Um, that goes between zero and a thousand. So it's kind of a, the lower end of the scale. So let's hit go and see what mid journey is going to give us. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just creating some bears that we can use later. We're going to combine those with some different ideas. So we're just looking for really some starting points here to find some things that we could use, right? So let's start with the bottom one and let's just see what it gives us. So I want you to imagine these as the basis or the beginning of maybe some t-shirt art. So this is the SREF 976-633-098, these first four. And you can see this has a very distinct black and white style that maybe we could do something with. This next one has a more classic illustration style. It gives us some really fun looks and really kind of a nice kind of engraving woodcut kind of a look, very vintage. This next one, which is 466232597, has a very distinct look, which is this kind of chunky kind of stroke mark. I think this is kind of a vintagey throwback look. This will look great on a t-shirt. Very excited about these. And then, then this last one, which is SREF 101-22024, gives this refined kind of vintage look, right? Very illustrated look, t-shirt style oriented. These are going to look great on a shirt. So let's go back and let's think about how we can create some patterns that might go with some of these bears. So let's jump back in. Now here's where planning pays off. We're not just making a single bear image. We're iterating with pattern, texture, and theme to push our creativity and refine the brand style. That means we need to think about these elements from the start. So let's think about pattern possibilities. We could create these and insert them into text or background shapes or use them in some way. For example, a vintage bandana paisley gives the design a rugged, well-traveled look, and that's perfect for rustic branding. We could also create camouflage with a natural twist, which is just a modern take using trees and leaves and maybe bears instead of military patterns. What about a wildflower pattern, which is a softer, more organic approach that could appeal to outdoor lovers and conservationists? So let's jump back into mid-journey. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some patterns that are going to be 
playing around with the bear theme that we have. And we've got a prompt set up just to do that. But more importantly, we're using some prompt weighting because what we want is the pattern to be in the bear silhouette. So our prompt is grizzly bear shaped silhouette with pattern. And then we've got some patterns in this power permutation brackets, which is vintage red paisley banner, bear silhouette camouflage, and wildflower collection. Those are in the pearly brackets, right? And then at the end, we're doing three different types of art, right? One is watercolor, one is a graphic illustration pattern, the other is cut paper collage. So these three art techniques are gonna work with these three pattern ideas, and we're gonna create a whole bunch of different looks, and maybe we'll do something that looks really cool, okay? So I wanna call your attention to the prompt weight, which is the colon, two colons, colon, colon, and then the number two. We're doing this to tell Midjourney hey, dummy, make sure you put the patterns inside the bears, okay? So that's the reason we do that. Otherwise, mid-journey could get confused and do more bears than patterns, right? So let's hit go and see what we get. All right, so we're starting to get to some results. Let's click in and look. So what we want is the paisley pattern inside of the bear shape. Now, we're going to clip this out and just use the bear. That's kind of the thinking here, right? So do we get something that looks nice that we could use? The reason why we make so many is because you never know what mid is going to give you. And that's the reason why we make a lot of these, right? So we're looking at bandana patterns inside the bear shapes. And of course, some of these do a better job. You know, that one's not too good. That one's okay, right? And so we're looking for ones with complete, like that one's really awesome, right? Don't you love how it's 3D at the same time? It's the bandana texture, right? How about that one? I want you to imagine these on a t-shirt. Now this one is using the bear shape with the camouflage pattern, right? Do we find anything in here that we really like? You know, some of these look better than other ones. Of course, that's why we make lots of them. And of course, now we're into the wildflowers, right? I really like this one. That looks great. So if we're looking through these, what's really fun is that we've got all types of different generations of these. Some of these are with the cut paper. And so you can get a lot of really great looks. And then what we want to do, of course, is we want to be able to clip this and put it onto our t-shirt and maybe drop some type around it. So that's what we're trying to do. And so I want you to make sure you understand the reason why this worked is we did the prompt waiting, which is the lesson here, colon, colon, two. So this goes up between zero and two for the weight, right? And usually people go up by a decimal of five. So 0 0.51, 1 1.5, uh, and two, right? We use two because we're telling mid-journey, hey, make sure you put it into the shape. So next, let's talk about using some texture ideas, right? So let's start with wood grain. Wood grain always adds an earthy, handcrafted feel that's familiar and warm. We could also do worn leather. So this is a distressed, adventure-worn look, which is perfect for a vintage brand. Maybe we want to do rough stone or rock, right? That's always a natural element, but how could you use it to its best effect? Maybe we make a stone kind of thing. So let's think about using textures in mid-journey. So we're going to create some grizzly bear shapes, but we're going to be clipping the texture inside of the bear shape. This is a different way of doing it than what I just showed you with the prompt weights. It's because there's multiple ways to do things, right? So we've got this leather texture. Here's our prompt. Right. So what all we do is we just hit image. Right. Now we're going to be pasting this image of this leather texture inside the bear shape. And we're going to do the same thing with uh, this wood pattern. And we're going to do the same thing with this rock pattern. OK, so let's start with the leather. And I'm just going to hit go and we'll go to the wood and hit go and we'll go to the rock and hit go right? Now we'll just zip back up 
And we'll scroll down to the bottom here. Now, what we're trying to look for is a bear shape with some a really great leather distress texture pasted inside. Remember, you're using this for the basis for some t-shirt art, right? So do we get something that's really cool, really dynamic? You know, you never know what Midger is going to give you, which is the kind of the fun part here. Kind of like that one. This one's kind of neat with this uh, floral thing. We didn't ask for that. That's really nice. That's kind of the weird part of that mid-journey. Sometimes it gives you things you don't really ask for, right? I like that one. I like the this at the bottom, right? So, of course, you could do a bare silhouette and then Photoshop, do a clipping mask and put it in. But sometimes this is kind of neat just to see what mid-journey is going to give you. And maybe uh, just that random thing is what really works. I like this one probably the best of the weather. So let's look at the wood ones and see if we got something that's good right? This one gave us some flowers, kind of interesting. And I don't know why it's not putting the bear inside. There you go. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. And then here's the bear with the rock texture. I like that. This is maybe showing the bear having some strength, right? Just an interesting look, doing something different. You know, if you're always doing the same thing, that gets kind of boring sometimes, right? So can we find something that really works? Anyway, uh, check that out. And now let's talk theme possibilities, okay? So let's start with that retro natural park WPA style. This is a throwback to 1950s park posters. It has bold, simple shapes and warm, pleasing colors. We could also do something with maybe a topographic map. These are contour lines, and this symbolizes exploration and navigation and adventure. We could also maybe do something about the river's edge, right? Bears are always hunting fish. This is a dynamic, free-flowing style that puts you in the place that you love the most if you're an outdoor enthusiast, which is outdoors. All right, so we're going to do some stuff with some textures, right? So we've got our new prompt, which is a grizzly bear forest scene with a river. And they're doing three different art styles. These are the themes, a 1950s art style, a hand-colored woodcut style, and a screen-printed T-shirt design style. We're going to do this in a circular design because we can tell Mid-Journey, hey, let's do it in a circle. And we're using at the end there, repeat four, dash, dash, R4, because we can create a whole bunch of stuff all at once because you never know what mid-journey is going to give you. And we're already off the races, so let's go all the way down. And what I like to do is just start at the bottom, right? Now, this is the 1950s style. So imagine this on a T-shirt. For, just forget the background color. This is what we're really focusing on. Do we get something in here that we really like? Look at that one. That looks great. So this is that kind of uh, illustrated style. It's kind of old fashioned look. Uh, that looks really great, right? This one's awesome. Let's check that one out. Sometimes it goes out of bounds and we can fix that in editing if you'd like something like that. I really like that one. That looks nice. This is the woodcut style, which is a little different, right? Very nice for a t-shirt, bold colors. These look great. And of course, this is the screen printed t-shirt style, right? Kind of fun. This one has trees that go out of the circle. Really like that. Look at that one. That looks nice. So as you can see, uh, just this prompt gives you lots of possibilities. Uh, and then you just need to choose which one you like or refine it. So let's put it all together. And that's how you take control of your mid-journey project using patterns, textures, and themes. In a short amount of time, we were able to iterate and create multiple design ideas, evaluate and create some mock-ups for discussion. So whether you're refining client work or exploring new creative directions, these techniques will help you push beyond random generations and get intentional brand-worthy results. If you found this helpful and want more expert tips, deep dives, and hand-on workflows, subscribe to the Mid-Journey Experience newsletter and join our community. 
We break down advanced techniques, share exclusive resources, and help you stay ahead in the mid-journey AI-powered design. Links are in their description. See you inside. Got questions? Drop them in the comments.